Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Facebook Live session number three. I am Dr. Harbinder Singh. So um, the topic for today's discussion is, I will um, discuss these uh, new treatment options or new medications in pipeline. Uh, but I want to emphasize that I have no financial ties with these medication, pharmaceutical company, or with anything else for that matter. This is purely for educational purposes. So be mindful of that. And um, so let's start with the medication number one. And uh, this is the main topic of discussion today uh, because the other two, we don't have much information yet for them. So this first medication, I wish they can find uh, easy names, but uh, the name is Xenomeline Trospium Chloride and the easy name is CARXT. And uh, this will be a non-dopaminergic medication for schizophrenia. So we all know, right, most of our antipsychotics, or I should say most of our medications for schizophrenia are dopamine antagonists. So there is a very long-held hypothesis, uh, the dopamine hypothesis for schizophrenia, where uh, the theory is if you block um, dopaminergic pathways, uh, that will result in um, improved uh, psychotic symptoms. You need at least, I think, 60 to 70% dopamine 2 receptor occupancy for psycho psychosis uh, symptom efficacy. But we have known that uh, most of the medications we have are good for positive symptoms, uh, but not that great for negative symptoms. And if the dopamine occupancy goes beyond uh, 70, 75%, EPS risk increases, and then you get those um, secondary negative symptoms, right? So um, we need um, something better. Uh, the interesting part is clozapine, uh, the least dopamine antagonist activity with the uh, gold standard medicine, I should say, for schizophrenia. That's where these new research comes into picture. And that's why I got so excited when I saw this uh, uh, medication. And uh, so care, I will call it CAR XT for schizophrenia. So they did actually trials for this. Uh, they did, uh, you see this here, Emergent 3. This is the phase three double blind trial results that were just published. But they went, uh, the studies for Emergent 1, Emergent 2 were positive. That's how the Emergent 3 studies came into picture. And the results were just published in JAMA Psychiatry here, friends. And this was published on May 1st, like a few days ago. So um, I think this is the most recent um, update we have right now on this medication. So I will go over this uh, study results, Emergent 3, and I will try to see if we can get something clinical out of it. So... They will also do Emergent 4 and Emergent 5, which are the follow-up study for this current study they did, Emergent 3. So let's start with what is the mechanism of action for this medication. So you see there are two names here, right? Xenomeline and Trospium Chloride. So this is actually a combination of two medication right now. So it looks like we have a trend happening now where two medications are combined to uh, supplement the efficacy or prevent side effects, which is the case in this one. So this is the major main medication here, Xenomelina. So what this medication does is it is a muscaranic cholinergic receptor agonist, not antagonist. This is an agonist. So we all know that there are um, mainly uh, two subtypes of um, um, uh, cholinergic receptors, right? The nicotinic and muscarinic. 
Uh, we are not talking about the nicotinic one, but we are focused on muscarinic, which a uh, few of them have um, some effects on the dopaminergic pathway indirectly, I should say. But the major one that we are focused on here are M4 and M M1 and M4. So xenomelene is very selective for M4, M1 and M4 uh, muscarinic cholinergic receptors. And it has no direct impact on dopamine receptors. And I think this is what uh, makes this medication unique compared to the other um, medications we have for schizophrenia right now. And... Um, for the therapeutic benefit in schizophrenia, we need the central action in the brain for the antipsychotic benefit. But the issue is it's not selective, right? It will also cause stimulation of peripheral muscarinic cholinergic receptors. And we all know what that does. So it will activate your GI system and your uh, salivation, sweating, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. So that's not uh, clinically good if you are treating one thing and making these symptoms worse. So that is where this other component comes into picture, trospium chloride. So this is a pan-muscarinic receptor antagonist. But then you will ask me, uh, so you're giving agonist and you're giving antagonist. Uh, what is the point? Like this antagonist can uh, impact the central action benefit and we are back to square one. Well, that's not the case with this one. So trospium chloride will do all the peripheral mu muscarinic cholinergic antagonism. Thereby, it will help with these um, uh, side effects that are happening, but it has mainly peripheral action. So it, is, uh, it won't reach a detectable level in the cerebrospinal fluid, fluid, CSF, because of the highly polar tertiary amine structure. So it, it has mainly peripheral action and thereby the central positive benefit of xenomeline is there. So this is how this potential medication will work on the schizophrenia.